My name is Ian Roussel. I'm a custom car builder. I've been doing this kind of stuff ever since I could. I started taking my toys apart when I was little and now I'm still doing the same thing. Loving cartoons and, and strange looking things, I figure why not build like a parade float that I can drive around. Learning how to manipulate materials and my love of cars has just evolved into this and now I make my living doing this. The thing I love about cars is that you take them around. It's, a, it's an extension of your personality. I guess there's the, there's the root of the traditional car builder and then a creative car builder. And for myself, I've always been interested in the guys who had more creative, off-the-wall ideas. I think it's really hard to describe what a core scene is, simply because I would consider it core being devoted through your heart. You'll get the people who are into it for the fashion and showing off for people, but the core scene is always going to be there. I think what this next era of hot rodding is all about, I think it's going back to what people do in their home garages, how people make their own cars. It's about just doing it yourself and, and getting it on the road so you can go out and enjoy it. There's one car show, I think it's my favorite show every year. I built a car for it the past few years, and last year I built a car, it's called Longshanks. It's a 28 Ford Roadster pickup. Uh, I built it by hand, it's completely old parts. Everything was fabricated by me here in the shop. I worked on a project last year, it's a video called Back From The Dead. It documented me building this Longshanks car. Uh, the idea was in three months, I was gonna build a car with my hands to bring to a car show and just to show off to the people who are in the scene. I built for the video in the car show last year. It's a 28 Ford Roadster pickup. Uh, it's all old parts and all handmade parts. It's got, a, it's got a Ford 302 V8 with automatic transmission. Put the shifter on the outside, it's like a jockey shift. This is a real car, it's driven every day. You can tell by the upholstery that I use it a lot. It's got a pickup truck bed on it. The frame is so high up inside of it that I just thought I'd make this cover. It's hinged, gas tank's back here, it's got a late model link in the rear end. It seems that word of mouth travels faster than any advertisement or a conscious effort to promote yourself. I get people who just see a car that I built around or see the shop or hear of the shop and people just come in and, and they, they bounce their ideas off me. And, each time somebody with the right amount of money or the right idea comes along, I'm able to follow through with that. At 5 o'clock every day, one of the most critical things in any kind of workshop is the break time. So this is the beer bell. This is a 56 Plymouth. I guess it's a Savoy or a Belvedere. I traded it to somebody for a pickup truck I had. I just put the roof on backwards, put the back window in the front, and the front window in the back. I got rid of the door windows. I had a 59 Thunderbird grill, so I stuck that on the front. Uh, the headlights, I just curved the fenders and lowered them down, and I didn't have any grill teeth, so uh, in keeping with the cartoon thing, I guess I made these kind of monster-like fang. You're not gonna see another car like this. <laughs> Anyway, I guess everyone has the thing that turns them on ultimately, and for me, it's taking these ideas in my head and making them real. Typically, if I bring a car to a car show, I don't stand around it and try to show off. What I love to do is act like it's not my car. And that's the thing, I'll just stand there with my back to the car and just listen to what people say. I don't need to show off and garnish the attention for myself. I just like to hear people stoked on what I made. <laughs>